Like I said in the beginning, it's no biggie. Just the usual. Ever since I, Blue Bear, joined 10X, its staff increased in size one by one. And we each had our own job to do. But ever since the incident, every staff put aside their duties and came together to pull out our hair. All sock. Everything zip. We all sought nothing but proving which is innocence. Collecting the evidence, filing complaints, with the occasional warning after the cyber investigation was launched. This. Drop what you're doing and run away when you have the chance. Run. Honestly, I cried from time to time. It hurt trying to prove something that wasn't true. It hurt. The dark and sad days when I myself and the very existence of me was denied. But still, I gathered myself, pulled my share of the weight. Some people do crazy shit to make lies the truth. We did what we could and proved everything. You could tell from our past videos. Oh, don't be such a whiner. So it's over because it's proven to be not true? Because we won, it's all over now? Okay, we can drop it. Overworking got me so tired. I could whine to my boss for a grab of vitamins to make up for the sun I lost. Now, what else? Kim Woo Jin You're looking at the most professional artist in the world. Graceful as a swan. What goes on in that mind of his? So, you get it now? Do you think Woojin can be all, yeah, it's not me, get lost. Hey, hey this video shoot was so fun, ha ha ha. Could you have smiled so easily? Series of hates, malicious comments, unfathomable insults, stalking, and death threats. One after another, just kept coming. So, just a night of it would be enough to traumatize you for the whole month, right? Imagine going through this nightmare every single day. Ah, it's not even a dream. Imagine you're living it. If the luck doesn't work to your favor, it could happen like it happened to Ujin. Since September of last year, when the incident occurred, Ujin never could spend a carefree day. Every day must have been full of anxiety and pain. It broke my heart to see him smile for us like nothing was wrong with the world. Remember? We all know. The serious cyberbullying that's taking place in the entertainment business and the K-pop scene for the past few years. Countless gossips and rumors spread, reckless invasion of privacy, inhumane hate comments, not to mention unfiltered news reports carrying out these false facts. We witnessed how a person could break down from it. We felt sad, watching it all. Bullying can happen in any groups, school, workplace, or some random group of people, even in cyberspace where everyone who doesn't know each other comes together. Many K-pop singers, celebrity, and even people we pass by every day suffer such violence in the cyberspace. And most of what starts it is one careless comment. Maybe that person did it to gain empathy or maybe by just being so cruel, maybe really, really wanted it. This is quite serious, you know? What you think is nothing serious can crush a person's life and grab it by the throat. After going through something so terrifying, I think it's unfair to stay quiet because the victim was a celebrity. Famous or not, victims have the right to have a voice. And we should listen to it. So, don't we all want the same thing? To have no more victims, whomever that is, including Woojin. So to make a case for the victims, we'll be trying harder and harder. We'll do everything to protect Woojin, whatever that may be, and really put our hearts to it. And protect Kim Woojin and his fans who stood by him through thick and thin. Oh, and were you surprised because we reply to all your comments with our company official account? And because no other company does it? Whatever, who cares? We don't care what others think. We were pleasantly entertained by all of your mocking comments. Thanks for the interest. Still, someone might think that South Korea is such a faraway country, hours on the plane and numbers of transit, how would they fuck us up? Okay, to be frank, it's complicated. Double the work, double the cost. We have to soldier on through 16 hours of time difference and email the lawyer in California where Twitter HQ is and wait for the reply. Lots to do. Lots. But after a while, People from other countries become our neighborly friends and we might leave work and head home when the sun is rising. 
right? Like I said, I could whine to the boss about overworking. I still have my good old paycheck. I mean, I love you, Jin. Wink. Wait up. We have a lot of things we can still manage to do. I, I can, can do this all day. day. Thanks to the fans' interest and support, we collected helpful evidence and information too. There's an old saying in Korea, careless stones could kill a frog. By the careless stones cast by you, Ujin and the fans were deeply hurt. And we will come after you and make you rightfully pay for your actions. We wanted to make sure that there were no more victims like ourselves and that we should leave a record of our case on the internet. You might think we're overreacting, but I think somebody needs to step up to do the job. Don't you agree? Anyways, thank you for listening. I know it's been long. Lastly, my deepest gratitude for the fans who supported, loved, and trusted in Ujin. Thank you all. And don't you worry, we will never give up on you or our artist. Never.